Hey all, welcome to Sunday Problem Solving Challenge. Weekly one topic per hour competitive exam preparation. So here I have a question on reminder theorem. So let's go for the question without wasting any time. Sanuj was asked to find reminder of 121 into 123 into 123 divided by 12. What's the remainder? So when we take remainder theorem, we have a lot of techniques. So today I'm here to share only two techniques that will play a vital role in solving number systems problem in your competitive exam. Now see, you, you can write this question like this. So 121 into 122 into 123 divided by 12. So usually when we see this kind of question, we try to multiply everything and divide it by 12. That may consume much time. So when you have uh, the numbers in multiplication in numerator, so you have a shortcut. So the shortcut is you can divide each number by 12. So when you divide 121 by 12, you know, it is 10 times 12. 120 now what is the remainder you get so the remainder is 1 right so here the remainder is 1 and take 122 by 12 so you get remainder 2 then what is the remainder of 123 by 12 so it is 3 right so remainder is 1 2 3 divided by 12 now 1 into 2 into 3 we get 6 so when we divide 6 by 12 what we get so 6 is lesser than 12, so you can't divide. So naturally, the remainder for this question is 6. Yeah, so this looks very simple, right? So you can expect this kind of question a lot in our competitive exam. So I'll give one more example. So we can take 37 into 43 divided by 11. You don't want to multiply these two numbers. So we know the technique, right? So 37 by 7. So five, 5 times 7, we get 35. So our, to make you clear, I will write like this. So 5 times 7, we get 35. And what is the remainder we get? So the remainder we get uh, by dividing 37 by 7 is 2. Right, so the remainder is 2. And what is 43 by 7? So 6 times 7, 42. And remainder is 1. 6 times 7, we get 42. And what is the remainder? The remainder is 1. Now what is 2 into 1? You get 2. So 2 into 1, you get 2. So what is 2 by 7? So 2 is lesser than 7. So what is the remainder? It is 2 only. It looks very simple, right? So when the numerator number is greater than denominator, we can use this simple technique. So what if the numerator is greater than, I mean, lesser than uh, denominator? So let's take this example. So I erase this. We have to use the concept of negative remainder. Uh, let's take 62 into 63 into 64 divided by 66. Now look at this. The numerator numbers are lesser than 66. Right. So in this case, we have to use the technique of negative remainder. Now, for example, if I ask you, uh, what is 8 by 9? So here the numerator is lesser than denominator. So you will tell the remainder is 8. Right. Because it is not divisible. So how you will say remainder is 8? So I change the color for your understanding, okay? 8 divided by 9. Because 8 is lesser than 9, so you will tell 0 into 9, 0. So the remainder is 8. Or you, may, you can also use the negative remainder concept. So what is the negative remainder? 8 divided by 9. So 1 times 9, you get 9. So what is 8 minus 9? You get minus 1. So here the negative remainder is minus 1. Right now, you can write uh, 8 by 9 like this minus 1 by 9. All right, so if the positive remainder is 8, and what is the negative remainder? Minus 1. And if you want to convert that negative remainder to positive remainder, simply you want to add that negative remainder with the number in denominator. So you are dividing the number 8 by 9 only, right? So here you want to add this minus 1 with 9. So what do you get? The positive remainder. Minus, minus 1 plus 9, you get 8. So this is the positive remainder. I hope you are clear with the concept, right? So with this, we can solve this problem, right? So I will show you how to solve. So let's erase all these steps. So 37 into 43, everything, right? So I erase everything here. So if you want to convert negative remainder to positive remainder, add with the number in which you are dividing, right? For example, uh, 17 divided by 19, right? So what is the negative remainder? 1 times 19, 19. And you get the negative remainder to be 2. Right? Now, 
if you ask me to find what is the positive remainder of this, so I want to add this negative remainder with this number which you are dividing. Minus 2 plus 19, you get 17. So this is the positive remainder. So what is the remainder? Positive remainder for this, it is 17. Now we can use the same technique for here also. So it is 62 into 63 into 64. Now when you divide 62 by 66, I find the negative remainder first, okay? So 66. So it is 1 times 66. And what is the negative remainder I get? I get minus 4. Right, so this is minus 4 into, and what will be the negative remainder for 63 by 66? It is minus 3. And what will be the negative remainder for this 64 by 66? It is minus 2. Right, so divided by 66. So minus 4 into minus 3, you get plus 24. Plus 24 into what? Minus 4 into minus 3, you get plus 12. Plus 12 into minus 12, you get minus 24. So minus 24 divided by 66. Now you want to convert this negative remainder to positive remainder. So how you will convert? Just add this minus 24 bit plus, plus 66. All right. So how much we get? 42 plus 42. So answer for this question is remainder is what? Plus 42. So 62 into 63 into 64 divided by 66 gives the positive remainder plus 42. It looks very easy, right? So you can convert negative remainder to positive remainder as well as positive remainder to negative remainder. So this kind of questions are very popular in our competitive exams. Now I would like to give you a workout for you. Let's try this problem and if you get the answer, please put it in your comment system, right? So you can take this question, right? So I write it here. 51 into 52 divided by 53. So try to comment what's the remainder in comment section below. I believe you understood with the concept. So I know this is a short video, but you understood the concept, right? So with this concept, you can, uh, you know, practice more problems rema uh, related to remainder theorem. So that will be definitely helpful to crack your campus interviews and entrance exams, as well as other all competitive exams, right? So stay connected to get more concepts in upcoming days. Thank you so much for your patience. All the very best. If you feel this is helpful, give a comment. I mean, give a like and share it to your friends. Thank you so much.